everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I am back with another super duper cool tutorial in Valve Serenuses and uh, XP, so let's just get right on into it. So I have a story to tell you. I was wandering around my Let's Play world and when I came across a chicken. I killed it, took its meat and feathers, and went back home to my furnace. I then put the chicken in and waited until it was done, took it out, and I noticed that my XP went up by quite a lot. And I was thoroughly confused about this, so I killed a few more chickens and I did the same thing again. And this time when I took it out, nothing happened at all. So I kept on doing this over and over again and then once uh, eventually I got a little bit more XP. So I went on to uh, YouTube and I tried, wait, <sighs> I went on to YouTube and I searched what was happening and I actually found that if you cook chicken or cactus or something that gives you XP and then you take it out of the furnace after it's done cooking, it actually can give you a tiny bit of XP. And this led me on to some interesting things. That means that if I actually have to go back to survival and I come over here and I take out, let's kill ourselves first so that we're, we have zero XP. If I took chicken out of a furnace that had just cooked five stacks of chicken, then all of a sudden you can see right here that I have no XP right now. When I took it out, I gained eight whole levels. And you can do this multiple times with multiple furnaces, like so. And I'm not going to do the last one because it takes a very long time to cook through all uh, stacks. And I can just duplicate it as of right now. But I want to show you guys this really cool trick because this means that you can make some interesting XP farms. And you guys know that now that I have my Let's Play world, I have been focusing a lot on how to make XP farms for the tutorials. And would you see just by that, uh, all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 furnaces, I have gained 32 levels just from cooking chicken. So what does this mean? No, it does not mean that, man, you're going to have a lot of chicken when you're done with this. And it doesn't just mean that, wow, I'm going to get a little bit of XP. It means that you're going to be able to make extreme farms and do nothing and all of a sudden just have a whole bunch of XP and green dye. That's right, not chicken, green dye. Because what you can do is you can make a gigantic cactus farm. You can make a cactus farm just like this. Uh, so I'll show you guys how to make this really fast, but um, after, before I'm, I show you guys, I'm going to show you guys what you can do with this. Now just a quick disclaimer, this has been running for a very long time, but what we have here is we have this big cactus farm, and it's actually not that big, but we have this cactus farm going on. All the things get traveled into these hoppers, the hoppers travel into this dropper, this dropper shoots it up. We into this water stream. This water stream brings the items into these hoppers and then if the hopper is not already filled then it goes into the furnace. Now this is pretty great and it can run for a very long time um, and you'll see right here we have a pickaxe and if we go game, oop, game mood survival and we come in here and you'll see that there's 64 cactus green. We have our mending, uh, mending a pickaxe in our hand and um, if we just grab this out you'll see all of a sudden that it's uh, almost full if we take this one out too all of a sudden we have a full pickaxe that's ready to be used all again uh, so this is absolutely awesome and then these will start um, uh, being filled up again and then you also have to t make sure to take out all of this too or else it will not quite work properly um, and then make sure you cover up one space too. So yeah, this works absolutely perfectly. And then this one you can also use. This one you can also use. And then this one's still working on it, but it's getting there. It just has to finish up with that and then has to fill up 64 in here. So yeah, this is absolutely awesome. But you guys might be wondering, 
how are you supposed to get all this fuel? And I also have chests back here. Actually, I think it only takes one stack to get through all of it. Or even a little bit less than a full stack of coal. But there is one way to um, get almost infinite amount of coal. So, uh, really fast, I'd like to mention that this got messed up and all this got messed up. Uh, so I had to redo it and we lost all the furnaces and everything. It was a weird time. Um, but you'll notice that we also have something new at the back. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, and also I should have said infinite amount of fuel, not infinite amount of coal. And sorry, there's stuff going on outside if you hear like something. Uh, but anyway, the way to get infinite amount of coal is uh, f fuel, not coal. The way to get infinite amount of fuel is with one of these. This is a kelp farm, and it's absolutely awesome. If we just go in here and we pick up all the kelp, and in here. Wait, come on, there we go. Oh man, this is awesome. Look, we already have like more than like three stacks of 64. Now we have four. And then the one on the last section on the end is not working, and I'll fix that some other time. Uh, but look from just that it's been like 10 minutes. We have so much kelp uh, So you will need two pieces of coal to smelt all nine pieces of kelp because if you do not know kelp can be smelted into uh, Dried kelp and then dried kelp can be crafted into Dried kelp block and that can be used in furnaces as fuel and I want to say it can smell around like 16 blocks But I'm not positive about that so you see I already have a few and all the dried kelp is coming in here. So you want to split this evenly uh, bet between um, the furnace is up at the top and also um, with the furnace is down here. So we have one and we have all right three pieces. So then we'll put just a few back here. So two pieces up there and then we come up here to the back now I can just throw this piece in and that will be taken out into this furnace and we'll start getting something smelted uh, so yeah it works really really well and this looks like so has a little bit more from last time I was testing stuff and then we just take our more and we'll be getting a little bit more in just a minute hopefully guys doing okay there it is Oop. oh my gosh all right and then we can just craft this again and you can decide where you want to put this but since that one got two last time I'm just gonna put it in here and I don't know which hopper that went into but it's not a big deal either way there we go perfect perfecto perfecto I don't know do you guys like me saying perfecto because I say it quite a lot I know uh, that but let me know if you guys like it anyway uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to make this for a lot of XP and you don't really have to do much except for build it, which is actually, it's actually pretty hard. Uh, but let me show you how the, everything works really fast. So what we have here is just a few chambers of water. We have kelp at the bottom. And if we, t um, let's go into game mode spectator. Uh, so we have kelp at the bottom. And then we leave one block and we put um, uh, uh, pistons facing right at them. And then behind that, we have, this is the piston right here. And then we have a redstone running right along the piston all the way. And then right above the pistons, we have an observer. And that observer has to have a block right a game mode. Uh, creative it has to, you have to have a block right here off of this observer uh, so that's how it works uh, at least this is this and then it just flows right onto the top and then for over here the cactus farm what you want is you want wait I have to get down all right there we go um, one one two three four five six seven eight i believe it's eight blocks and what you want to do is you just want to place water on, over on these edges and it's eight blocks in each direction so that would be uh 17 because you also add the hoppers so uh what you want to do is you want to place string uh you don't have to have all the string like 
right in the middle like here I just was sloppy with it and you don't have to have it there just right underneath um, the sand you want some string and then you want the sand block on top of that cactus on top of that and then you want these paints right next to it and that will actually break it so if one of them grows see that that grew and then immediately broke because of these I don't know why they do that but they do um, so that's super cool uh, this is made I don't know who it's made. I think it might be Exuma, Exumer. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Exumer. Um, super cool guy. I'll make sure that is him, and I'll put a link in the description to whoever it really is. But also, let's check on this really fast. It's doing great. So you can see over here, we can make four blocks. So let's put two in here. There we go. And let's throw two into here. Perfect. And let's also see how this is doing. It's doing pretty good. And yeah, okay, so anyway. Uh, so then the hoppers run out this way into this dropper. This dropper has a three by three glass chamber around it. It doesn't have to be glass, but it has to be three by three chamber. That basically shoots it up to the top. Uh, there's a comparator running out of it into a, a repeater, into a block, into a redstone line that goes right back to the dropper or dispenser. And then that dispenser pushes the blocks all the way up to, into this water stream. They travel, this ice keeps the momentum, and then once a hopper is free, they'll fall into that hopper, falling into the furnace. Whew. And then this side, once you throw a block in, it's just it travels until it hits an open hopper, it goes into that hopper, and then you'll have a lot of fuel. So, that is basically it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy, weird video. I just wanted to make a, a tutorial and I didn't like, really know what to do and I found that this was a really cool thing that I thought I should teach you guys. Wait, what did I just do? Okay, <laughs> uh, so yeah. If you guys uh, liked it, then make sure to hit that like button and if you guys want to see more tutorials like this or um, Let's Plays, then be sure to go check, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it would really be awesome. Uh, I like to help you guys with Minecraft tutorials and entertainment. It would really be awesome if you guys helped me with making this a living. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Oop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Bye. <laughs>